Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for walking through this Alteryx Weekly Challenge with us. In this video, we're taking a look at Alteryx Weekly Challenge number 264, Sliding Totals. This exercise can be found on the Alteryx community under Academy. We've got a small piece of starting data, with only 12 records. And for each of the six unique IDs in the data set, we want to isolate the beginning and end point for each of the relevant sets of records, and then sum up the totals, these sliding totals that are present in the raw data. So an interesting way of processing data uh, and handling some, some strange data that's thrown our way, uh, but a great data set to practice with and an awesome use case for the Generate Rows tool we'll take a look at shortly. So if you want to follow along, we can download the start file.yxmd from the Alteryx community. And taking a look at the inputs, we only have 12 records. We do have six unique IDs, starting with ID 1, which is in record ID 1. And in the output, the sales value that we see of 800 is the total for all of the original starting data points that were in that relevant set of rows. So if we start with a summarize tool, this is going to be a, a key part of our process today. So ultimately our output, we want to create this shape where we have a field called ID and one record for each of our IDs. But the first thing we need to do before we can add up these values in sales is identify what's the starting record ID and what's the ending record ID for ID number one. And then we can quickly do a group by and build out that logic for each of the unique IDs in the starting data set. So expanding on our summarize tool, I'm going to highlight the record ID field reference and pull through the min and max actions. So we'll have two new fields in our output, the min record ID and the max record ID. And ultimately, we want to generate one data point or generate one record for each of these IDs that starts at the min record ID and goes up to the max record ID. So for ID 2, we would want to start at original record ID 2 and go all the way up to 8. And then for 3, start at number 3 and go all the way up to 11. And then work dynamically through the data table. So the Generate Rows tool from the blue preparation category will be a really important part of our process. We could create a new field, but I'll go ahead and just update this minimum record ID field. So for each of our IDs, we'll start at the minimum record ID. So that's really the starting record. And then we want to keep adding one to this. So our loop expression is min record ID plus one. So keep adding one until we get to that maximum record ID number. So for ID 1, our first sales ID, we need to map that back to records 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then for sales ID 2, we need to start at number 2 and go all the way up to 8. So we've generated 38 data points, and now we can use a join tool from the favorites bar or from the purple join category and I'm using this field called minimum record ID, and that's ultimately going to be our joining field, mapping it back to the original record ID. So from the left, record ID. This time from the right, we have to manually pick minimum record ID from the drop-down list. And there's really only two fields we need to keep here. We're concerned with the sales ID and ultimately what the total sales is. We need to keep the ID coming from the right-hand side, and sales is coming from the left. And ultimately, we need one more summarize tool. We can group by the ID. And then, because sales is a numeric data field, we can use the sum function and quickly add up all those numbers. So we've got six records. Sales ID 1 has a total sales of 800. That matches, and it looks like we've got a match across the data table. So adding a little bit of documentation, we can clean up our solution a little bit and help explain our logic to others. I hope you have a great week and enjoyed this weekly challenge review. We'll see you next time.
Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.